What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making probably one of my favorite summer recipes to pair with a side salad on a hot day, a quiche Lorraine. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as always, and don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my future uploads. Now let's get into the recipe. For your short crisp pastry, you will need 225 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of salted butter, and two to three tablespoons of ice cold water. I have a full separate video on how to make the perfect short crust pastry. So I'm going to leave that recipe in a card at the top right hand corner of the screen and I'll also leave it in the description box below. Briefly in a nutshell, what I did here was chop my butter into my flour with a sharp knife. Then I rubbed in the butter into the flour using my fingertips in a back and forth motion, making sure that I didn't get any of that mixture on the palms of my hands because that is the warmest part of the hand. And that is the key thing to remember with making a good pastry. Pastry loves cold conditions, cold hands, cold utensils and cold ingredients. I added my two to three tablespoons of water slowly so as not to add too much because it's always easier to add more than to take away. I rolled it into a smooth ball, not kneading but just bringing the pastry dough really lightly together. I then chilled it in the fridge for about an hour before taking it out, allowing it to stand at room temperature for about 15 minutes, rolling it out into a circle that would fit the diameter of my pastry case, which is eight inches. Placed it gently into the pastry case, made sure I worked it really well into all of those little crevices, and then popped it back into the fridge to chill for another hour. I did my best to roll it nice and evenly so that we get a nice even pastry case all the way around. So after an hour in the fridge, it's ready to bake. And I've just gone ahead and tidied up the top of that pastry case so it's nice and smooth and it's gonna look really nice when it's finished. And to do that, I just cut off the excess pastry with a sharp knife. And to make a really good pastry for quiche, we want to bake the pastry blind. That involves using baking beans and parchment paper. You could also use rice to weigh the pastry case down so that the base of the pastry crisps up really nicely and it doesn't end up soggy. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prick the pastry base with a fork nice and evenly. This will allow any steam to escape. I'm then going to lay down a sheet of parchment paper and then I'll add all of the baking beans and make sure that they're nicely distributed across the whole pastry case. That's gonna go into the oven at 210 degrees Celsius in a fan oven for 15 minutes. I'm then going to take off the baking beans and bake it for a further 10 minutes. And while that's in the oven, I'm going to gather my filling ingredients. We'll need 50 grams of Gruyere cheese, 250 milliliters of single cream, 125 to 150 grams of smoked bacon, three large free range eggs, a small to medium onion, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to prepare the ingredients by grating the cheese, finely dicing my onion and chopping the bacon. I'm then going to add the bacon firstly to the pan because I want all of that fat to release from the bacon and create this lovely coating on the pan that we're going to cook the onions in and it's going to be absolutely delicious. I'm going to cook off the bacon for four to five minutes until everything is browning nicely. I'm then going to add in my onions and cook until browned. Setting that mixture aside, I'm going to crack my three eggs into my cream, add my salt and pepper and whisk everything until nicely combined. And that is it, that is our filling prepared. So after my 25 minutes is up on the pastry, we have that fabulous crispy pastry base that is ready for our filling. So to prepare the filling to bake, I'm going to turn the oven down to 180 degrees Celsius. Again, that's in a fan oven. Layer my bacon and my onions on the base of the pastry case. And then I'm going to slowly start adding the cream and egg mixture. If you pour it in quickly and in a hurry, you can end up with air pockets where the mixture doesn't fully seep all the way through. It will still taste great, but may not aesthetically be exactly what you want. So I just like to take my time with this step. I'm then gonna go ahead and sprinkle my 50 grams of cheese nice and evenly on the top. And I'm going to bake that in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Just keep an eye on it, and as soon as that cheese is starting to go, that lovely dark golden color on top, you know it's ready. Pop it out of your tart tin, and you can see there we have that lovely 
chunky base that is not soggy in any way. It has held the filling extremely well. There's absolutely no leaking of that mixture through the base, which is exactly what we want. And that is what makes baking blind worth it and worth spending that little bit of extra time. Allow to cool for about 15 minutes before cutting and serving. Cutting through your quiche, you'll see you have that lovely crispy base. You've got your onion, your bacon, your cheese and creamy egg filling. It's an absolutely stunning recipe to have with a garden salad in summer and we'll just leave you with that happy feeling. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you try the recipe. And before you leave, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button, hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my future uploads. And I can't wait to see you back on my channel really soon.